Good day, welcome to Bitcoin Bounce. My name is Joseph, and today I'm going to look at our coins uh, to see if there's possible trade opportunities for us. Uh, so now, here on the chart, I have the Bitcoin USDT chart uh, on the weekly, and as you can see, uh, Bitcoin is actually relatively low. Uh, we are about to possibly make a higher high for the first time in a very long time, and um, you know, all the bulls are getting excited because for the first time, we actually see a little bit of a run up. Uh, I don't want to get too excited too quickly because previously we, we did a similar run up a few times and we just were not able to break uh, this down uh, with strength. Uh, but, you know, uh, we see that uh, double top uh, there. Uh, if we can just go a little bit higher, we can break, break it. Then we can for the first time have a higher high and then obviously we need to get a higher low also to break that okay now uh, i have a few coins here that i want us to look at uh, for a possible trade opportunity and first of all i want to look at uh, bitcoin uh, so now dion set up for us uh, uh, at buy bit per uh, uh, pixel contracts and so that's what we're trading today uh, i just want to go here to the one hour graph okay so uh, what i did i measured uh, this up run uh, and then I saw, okay, our potential position that we're aiming for is $24,700, okay? Uh, but because uh, of, uh, um, I, I just look back at some of the resistance positions here in the back, uh, I felt a, a good uh, a profit target would be 22400 So what I thought is if we could buy immediately Bitcoin and we put a take profit of 6%, and we put a stop loss of 3%. Uh, the, this is a very high probability trade entry position. And so this is something that I think uh, we could go for. Um, and so uh, this is now 9 o'clock uh, in the evening here, South African time. Uh, so this is probably a good time uh, to buy this Bitcoin. I believe it, it, you know, it moved and then it kind of uh, settled a little bit. And I believe there's going to be a second leg uh, to the upside I don't know if you're going to hit 24700 but I'm very confident that we can hit $22,400. Okay, so that's my first trading opportunity that I'm looking at. Uh, on the Ethereum side, uh, I agree with Dion. Let me just uh, open up the chart. Uh, so what Dion charted out here is he reckons that the Ethereum is possibly going to go down. Now, I reckon uh, the low for Ethereum is going to be that 1466 level, just where... Uh, that candle was rejected right there. I believe that's going to turn into a good support. Uh, so there is a possibility for Ethereum to come down uh, to that level uh, and then even uh, possibly bounce back on that level, come back. But then I believe there is going to be a breakout to the upside for Ethereum. Okay, so that's my uh, outlook on Ethereum. Uh, let me just go ahead and just delete that so I don't make our chart too messy here. Okay, uh, so for, for right now, I don't have a trade opportunity on Ethereum. And uh, to a degree, um, I got the same outlook on uh, Cardano. So on Cardano, because it uh, went up a little bit, uh, there's definitely a 5% uh, trade opportunity to the downside. So I don't know uh, if you like to short the market. I usually just long the market. Uh, but a, a possible short opportunity uh, could be, let me just pull this together. So if we are looking at a, a let's say a 6.6% uh, take profit, and then we look at a 3.3% um, 3 .3 stop loss, then you're going to have a 2 to 1 ratio on your take profit to stop loss ratio. Okay, well, that's, that's more or less uh, where it is going to be. Um, so it's going to be underneath, you know, that, that market, uh, let me get my line here, it could possibly bounce up to that line, which is still going to be inside our stop loss ratio. And then we could go back down and hit that bottom line. So uh, there's definitely a possibility. This is also a high probability trade uh, for a short uh, on Cardano. Um, let me just uh, delete these lines again. Okay. Um, so that is, that's my short position. Okay. On, on the Matic coin, um, so I believe Matic is actually going to bounce between these two levels. Uh, so the one level is this a uh, dollar and five cents, and then the bottom level is probably going to be around about ninety six, sixty six. Uh, in the between those two levels, I believe it's going to bounce. Now it bounced at the bottom, and it also had a, a double 
bottom. So a possible uh, long trade for me uh, would probably be to say, okay, uh, we can trade um, uh, this um, Matic coin. Uh, we can probably do, okay, 4%. So we can possibly uh, look at about a 2% stop loss position uh, and a 4% take profit. Because see what happened with the, with the Matic. Uh, it, it went down from there uh, to the bottom, really to there, and then it made a double bottom. Uh, and so now they, it's, there's a good chance for it now to go up uh, to that level. Uh, it might pull back a little bit and then go up. So uh, that's, again, uh, another high probability uh, trade for Matic. Um, uh, let me just delete these little lines that I've been drawing here. Oops. Hopefully I'm going to get them out of here. Uh, just one second. I don't want to mess up Dion's chart here. He, he's always so perfectionistic when he draws the, the chart lines. Okay. So that's what I think. I think a, a, a buy signal on a Matic coin is definitely an option. Okay, now let's go to the XRP. I'm a little bit more excited about the XRP, um, you know, because uh, what actually happened, uh, we got a channel here, um, and we are running our channel in between um, uh, 40 cents and then at the bottom at 38 cents, okay? Uh, and we are low enough in that channel that we still have a 4.5% uh, take profit uh, possibility and a 2.25 stop loss uh, possibility. So we can still uh, work with a 1 to 2 range on our take profit to stop loss ratio. So I, I really think Matic is actually a, a great option. So when I draw just five minutes ago, Matic uh, was a little bit lower. So it already started moving uh, to the upside, but I still think uh, this is a good training opportunity. Okay, now for my wild card, uh, I don't want to be on look at this WRX uh, BTC coin, but I want to look at AVAX uh, USDT. Uh, I really believe uh, that this coin had a strong movement to the upside, and I believe there is another possibility. Uh, a similar leg like that can happen again on this side. So I, I would say for uh, the Matic, we can go for a 10% uh, take profit right here. Uh, and then we can do a 5% stop loss. You'll still sit below all of these lows up here. And there's a great possibility that we're going to double top. So we will definitely hit this high again. So I would say AVAX USDT, uh, there is an excellent buy opportunity. And again, I always try to keep my uh, take profit uh, to stop loss ratio, two for the take profit and one for the stop loss. And then if we can get our, our trades, uh, you know, at least 50% win rate, then we're going to always make a good profit. All right, guys, uh, that's all that I got for us for today. Uh, I hope uh, this is beneficial for you. Please uh, uh, write a comment um, in the um, um, below. And if you if you maybe have a trade opportunity that you think we're missing on or you got a different perspective, we would great to hear from you. So Dion is going to be back tomorrow morning again with his uh, trade signals. Have a great evening.